televised robotic combat usually requires small, remotely controlled robots which are fitted with tools and things that you might find in your garden shed being used as offensive weapons. Well, I've come to a workshop just outside San Francisco to meet a team of engineers who are planning a robotic rumble on a much, much grander scale. Say hello to the Megabot Mark II. It stands 15 feet tall and weighs nearly six tonnes. It moves around via tracks on the front of it. It's not particularly nimble, but it doesn't need to be because when this robot engages in combat, it makes use of a giant paintball cannon. Megabots was founded in 2014 by engineers Guy Cavalcanti and Matt Olerens. So how long was the design process of this fella? Realistically, it got put together over the course of maybe a year. A lot of the components on this robot are taken from the construction industry, parts that you would normally see on an excavator or skid steer. So in terms of what it can do, the fact that it's got these weapons on it, all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. did you figure that out before you started building it? The pneumatic weapons were always part of the original plan. This is a six inch diameter paint uh, paint cannonball gun. cannon. Um, it shoots three pound paint cannonballs at speeds of over 100 and 130 miles an hour. This is a 20 pack, we call it a missile launcher, right. but essentially it's 20 smaller pneumatic cannons um, stacked next to each other. So um, originally these had, had shot these foam missiles. Enough talk, time for a robotic test drive. Now, as I don't have my giant fighting robot license, I'm sitting in the gunner's position while Matt is doing all the heavy lifting, actually driving the robot around. But don't worry, I'll have something to do in just a minute. You see, I'd quite like to use a vehicle like this on the commute in London. I've got a feeling that black cabs would react very differently when they look in the rearview mirror and they see this behind them. Normally, the cannon fires specially made giant paintballs. However, it should be just as adept at firing fruit. In this case, a watermelon. Here we go. Oh my God. Unfortunately, our chosen fruit isn't tough enough to hit our target, vaporizing in midair. We've reloaded and it's time for shot number two. <laughs> and that is how you absolutely decimate a cantaloupe. Okay, Matt, let's inspect the handiwork. Of wow, your... we got damage uh, two layers back even. Wow. That was that's, extremely powerful. That's, it's pretty impressive for a piece of fruit. <laughs> Cantaloupe carnage, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The long-term vision of Megabots is to have eight, ten robots uh, drive into a stadium and, you know, attack each other. It's kind of like a monster truck. Rally? Yep. The problem for this league idea, though, is that giant fighting robots aren't exactly commonplace. So there was one other piloted robot in the world that we knew of. It was the Kratos robot in Japan. But they said, if we do this fight, we want it to be more than just air cannons. We want melee combat. So we'll fight you, but it's got to be hand to hand uh, in the battle. And, and so now um, we are creating a new robot uh, that has melee weapon capability uh, to, to be able to have this fight. You're going to be going toe to toe and slugging it out. Isn't that quite a bit more dangerous than just shooting things with a giant air cannon? In the ideal situation, the pilot remains protected, but all of the rest of the robot can be attacked and torn off and get crumpled up and destroyed, but the pilots remain relatively safe. Megabot's next robot is being kept under wraps for now while it's being built. However, they still need to find a venue to host their robotic rumble with the Japanese. They're hoping this giant bot boxing bout will take place next year. <laughs> <laughs>